This week in Black History. February 13th to February 19th. At blackhistory.today, we remember. Reverend Henry Highland Garnett. A great orator of the 19th century, minister, abolitionist, and educator, Reverend Henry Highland Garnett, died on February 13, 1882 in Monrovia, Liberia at age 66. Garnett became an advocate of militant abolitionism. As a member of the American Anti-Slavery Society, Garnett was a regular speaker at abolitionists' conferences. During an emotional speech at the 1843 National Negro Convention in Buffalo, New York, often referred to as, Call to Rebellion, Garnett called for freedom from slavery through militarism by encouraging slaves to revolt against their owners. Frederick Douglass One of America's greatest orators Frederick Douglass, born Frederick Augustus Washington Bailey, celebrated February 14, 1818 as the date of his birth. He was born in Talbot County, Maryland. Born a slave, after escaping slavery Douglas became one of the world's foremost abolitionist and human rights leaders. Maya Angelou American poet, author, actress, filmmaker, educator, and civil rights activist Maya Angelou was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama on February 15, 2011. Her career in the arts lasted over 50 years, but was further noted internationally when she delivered her poem, On the Pulse of Morning, during the inauguration of President Bill Clinton in 1993. Joe Frazier On February 16, 1970, Joe Frazier defeated WBA world champion Jimmy Ellis to become world champion. Marian Anderson Marian Anderson gave her date of birth throughout her life as February 17, 1902. Following her death it was reported that her actual birth may have been February 27, 1897. Although there may be some confusion on her actual date of birth, her status as one of the most gifted and talented contraltos of our times is without debate. Her beautiful and appealing voice commanded the attention of audiences in concert halls around the world for decades. On April 9, 1939 Marian Anderson opened the doors for many African-American artists whose public performances were limited due to racial discrimination by singing at the Lincoln Memorial when she was prevented from singing to an integrated audience at Constitution Hall. Shani Davis On February 18, 2006 in Turin, Italy, Shani Davis became the first African-American to win a gold medal in an individual Winter Olympics. Tuskegee Airmen on February 19, 1942, the 100th Fighter Squadron was activated in the 332 Fighter Group which is better known as the Tuskegee Airmen. The 100th Fighter Squadron was the second African-American combat unit of the Tuskegee Airmen and the Army Air Force. The first was the 99th which was activated on March 22, 1941. Tuskegee Airmen were the first African-American soldiers to fly during World War II. These heroic soldiers fought valiantly in the war even when many initially doubted the flying capabilities of African Americans. Find out more on these specific great moments in black history this week at blackhistory.today, the world's top daily black history website.